How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video and I thought I would reveal the big mod and give you guys an update on the car itself. Now I did drop off the car on Tuesday morning so I don't have any footage of me just driving it around because well it's not in my possession but I did drop off the car with the new mods and I had been hinting at some mods for a while. I finally ordered them, finally dropped off the car. So without further ado, the new mods that I'm getting on my Mustang are camshafts and pretty much building the whole top end of my car. I'm mean, still using the stock heads, at least the stock castings, but pretty much the whole top end is getting a refresh. I'm putting in all Ford Performance and comp cams and comp shit. So the whole top end is getting pretty much built. And the reason why I'm doing this is because the factory springs on the three valve Mustang, they're not meant for high boost. So when I had the smaller pulley on before, it was too much boost and I was getting some valve flow, it seemed like. So now I'm upgrading the valves, I'm upgrading the cams, I'm upgrading all that shit. So everything should be rock solid and it should be able to take high boost. So we're going cams and a much smaller pulley. We're probably gonna be going from our, my 15 pound pulley to a 26 maybe pound pulley so we'll have to see when it's all said and done the reason why i don't know how much you know boost this pulley is going to do is because when we ran the pulley before with the shitty valve springs uh we only could rev it out to 5k and we were doing 24 pounds at 5k and so since i'm building my whole top end depending on where they set the red line say they set it at 6500 we might be doing 26 27 pounds of boost at that we, we have no idea so we'll see hopefully knock on wood hopefully everything can take it uh my bottom end is built forged internals and all that so i know that can take it but we'll have to see i don't want to go in a kabloomy my engine but mainly uh, I just wanted to get the smaller pulley put back on, and then after this, if the horsepower number is where I want it, the Mustang, but shit, it should be done. I, I don't think I'm going to have to add any more power. Again, I'm not trying to build some crazy fast 1,000 horsepower car that I'm not going to be able to drive because, well, 1,000 horsepower cars, one, aren't super reliable, and two, aren't super convenient. You know, if they're 1,000 horsepower, that's usually 1,000 horsepower meant for the track, so... I don't go to the track too much. I just like going out to Mexico and having some fun with friends. But uh, I feel like if I get around 700 wheel, I think I'll be happy. So we'll have to see. But uh, also, I mean, how often do you really get to use the full 1,000 horsepower? A lot of the time, you're not going to be able to throttle down because either A, you're going to have traction issues, or B, within a split second of throttling down, you're not going to have enough runway to get up to speed. You're going to be speeding and breaking every law in your state within like a, a split second. So again, I still want to at least be able to drive my car for the most part and have some fun with it. But I feel like a thousand horsepower is just a, a bit of overkill, but I don't know. We'll see. I always told myself when I first bought this car, yeah, there's no need to mod it. 500 wheel horsepower is good. And then a couple years later, yeah, well, actually, let's uh, waste a lot of money and upgrade this bitch. So I don't know. We'll see. When I get when I get it back, maybe I'll get tired within a couple months or a year, and then uh, back to the shop with it. Anyway, that leads me to my next topic. Me and my roommate are actually planning on buying a car together so we are going to go and uh, purchase a car we don't know how we're going to split it obviously he makes a lot more money than me but we don't know uh how we're going to pay for it and stuff like that we don't know the specifics of all that but what he did want me to do is ask you guys what exactly what you know what kind of car you guys want to see on the channel now a couple weeks ago on my instagram i did say you know jdm or exotic uh, my roommate, he's into exotics, obviously. He already has a Lamborghini, and he has a classic Mustang, so he's he's into that. Um, I wouldn't mind getting a JDM car. Now, originally, my plan was to import a car, depending on what it is, either you know some right-hand drive R32, right-hand drive Supra, something like that. But when you look into importing a car, it's there's a lot of gray areas, and... It's not as simple as, here, I pay you this, my car comes next week. It's, okay, you need the cash up front, you pay them the cash up front, and then in a few months, your car will arrive. And you won't even have seen your car. You know, you'll see photos and shit, but who knows? You don't know. These people are out in Japan. There's no way of really tracking it and all that stuff. So, I don't know if we're still going to go for that. That was my original idea, was to import a car. Uh, I have talked to a few people, and I, I know a few reput reputable services to do it. But again, I just don't know if me and him are both down to just hand over 30, 40 K to a person to import, you know, like I said, a GTR or a Supra and then to wait 
and then to have it eventually arrive. It's either that or if I still want to get a JDM-esque car, we can go ahead and maybe get an R35 that's already in the States. Could pick up a used one. Nothing too crazy. I don't know what year or anything like that. But do something like that and uh, make content on that. Or maybe, again, if we're sticking with the whole Japanese cars, maybe pick up a new Supra. I don't know. Uh, I know a lot of channels are doing Supra content. So I don't know if you guys want another channel doing Supra content. But I do want to hear what you guys have to say in the comments of what kind of car. Um, if we are going to go with exotics, then we would go with maybe an, an older Audi R8. Maybe the V8 uh, manual transmission. Do some mods to that. That would be pretty fun. Or maybe an older Gallardo. He already has, like I said, a uh, Gallardo. Uh, uh, can't speak. Damn Italians. A Gallardo Super Leggera. Super Leggera. However the hell the Italians pronounce it. He already has the Italian noodle uh, Lamborghini. So... I don't know if we're going to go with another one, but you can find them on the used market for not too expensive if you're just looking at, like, you know, a, a guy or no. It's, it's, it's not, they're not that expensive. You'd be surprised. Uh, but either that or maybe, like I said, the uh, the Audi R8. I like Audi R8s, but at the same time, it's like when you get into these exotic cars, there's not really much you can do to them unless you're absolutely shitting money. I make YouTube videos, I'm not shitting money, uh, YouTubers, you know, you can make a lot of money on YouTube, but my channel, I'm not, I'm not making, you know, buckets of money to where I can go and twin turbo a, an Audi R8 or something like that, so, uh, I mean, I use a damn sock as a pop filter, I'm on a budget, okay, so, I don't know, I don't know what we're planning, uh, a couple other cars, sorry, I burped, a couple other cars I'm interested in are, uh, uh, Corvette ZR1, the C6, not the C7. Again, I'm not shitting money, but a C6 ZR1 would be pretty cool. That, that surprisingly is the cheapest car, but again, then you're looking at straight line speed or we turn it into a drift car, which I was surprised to hear him say that. He was like, hey man, you break it, you buy it, but if you want to drift it, go ahead. That'd be fucking badass, you know, a ZR1 drifting, but at the same time, you know, I don't want to go and smash a $50,000 car into a wall. I don't know. But I, I really want to hear your guys' input because I don't want to buy a car that you guys wouldn't be interested in watching me drive, build, stuff like that, race it. Uh, again, we already have a straight line speed car, which is my Mustang. That's my car. So if we do get a car, I want a car that will be more track oriented for like road courses or maybe dragging, drag racing, I guess. Uh, the ZR1 would be a good contender for that. But again, I don't want to break anything. But anyway, I do want to hear your guys' input. I thought this would be a quick little video just to give you guys an update on what's going on. Like I said, the Mustang, I didn't need to go with camshafts. I really only needed uh, upgraded valve springs. But I figured while they're in there, my guy's going to completely take off the heads anyway and uh, go and go through the whole thing, pretty much make sure it's solid. While he's in there, might as well toss in some camshafts, if you know what I mean. You know, you can't have an American muscle car, a built American muscle car, and not have it sound cool. So... I don't know if the idle is going to be super noticeable. We'll see. These are blower cams, so they're not just, you know, the little loud chop cams that don't do shit. These are actually supposed to do stuff. It's supposed to lessen up my low-end torque, which is good because I want to not break anything. And uh, it'll increase my high-end, so we'll see. Uh, I'll be very interested to see what power numbers we're putting out after this. And like I said, after this, the Mustang should be done for the most part with horsepower. Uh, I don't think I'm going to go and add anything else. I can't really imagine anything else I really could add besides just maybe going with a smaller pulley and maybe a throttle body. But other than that, again, I can't imagine anything else, <laughs> at least horsepower-wise. I do want to change the color, though. I'm really sick of the color. But uh, just giving you guys my thoughts on the Mustang. Uh, so let me know down in the comments what car you guys would be interested in. And if I see one comment saying, Drew, why aren't you doing it yourself? Why aren't you putting uh, a camshaft? Uh, your, your car yourself? You're not a car guy. You're not a uh, Dude. To do cams on my car, you have to remove the blower and all this bullshit. I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to go and take off my supercharger. I'm not going to go and take off my heads, take off my exhaust. Fuck all that. I don't need to do that. And then I would still have to go and tow it to my tuner, which is a good two-hour drive away. So I'd probably waste a couple weeks of having it sit in my driveway and then waste a lot of money just having it towed over there. I would just rather make sure it was done right the first time. Uh, I'm not a I'm not a, a trained mechanic. I'm not a professional. I know what I'm doing, but I'm not, you know, I didn't go to school for this where he he did, hopefully. I'm not trying to blow up my motor. They blow up my shit, that's on them. I'm not doing that shit. So, I'm not going to put myself in a pickle and fuck up my shit. Uh so I'm I'm no. No, no, no. I'm not touching that. I am not touching that. So, uh but anyway, let me know what you guys think. 
Let me know what you guys would like to see. Like I said, I kind of want an R35. I think that would be a pretty cool car because then I would have the American Muscle and I would have an import of some sort. I think that would be cool. And then in a year or two, sell the R35 and maybe move up, maybe move into a Lamborghini or something like that. But we'll see. I, I, I want to know what you guys want to see. So let me know. I feel like I've repeated that like six times and I feel stupid for doing that. But anyway, uh, until next video, peace.